my phone. Okay. Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with Faith and we've been hanging out. We went to Steak and Shake and it was really good. I got my hair blonde. I hope you guys are having an awesome Saturday. We are going to be talking about a thing that happened six months ago. We were in a wreck. This thing. Are you showing the picture? Yeah. Oh, I can just yeah. answer it. We were, yeah, I'll insert the picture right here probably or just on the screen. Don't know yet. Um, we were in a wreck. It was really, really bad. It was my fault. It was my fault, but it was really, really bad. I was driving. I was with Faith and Savannah. Where were we going? Basketball game? We were going to a basketball game. Faith probably only remembers that because we told her because she had a concussion, but we'll get to that um, later on. Yeah, we were on our way to the basketball game. It started at five, so we were already running late. And so about, let me think, 4.55, something like that, I picked Faith up from her house. It was like 5.30. See, I don't remember anything. <laughs> There's an ant on me. Uh-uh. <laughs> what is that stuff? Okay, anyways, there was a car in my blind spot, so of course- That I, I saw. Yeah, Faith saw from the back so. seat. Savannah was in the front seat, I was driving. And so Faith was like, Megan! Yeah, she screamed my name, which you should not do when someone's driving. <laughs> Sorry, there was a car, you would have wrecked. <laughs> She's, I did wreck. I know. And I was like, what? Because of course my first reaction is gonna she be, didn't. let me turn around and look. <laughs> Don't do that while you're driving, by the way. I turned around and to like, to avoid hitting them, I overcorrected myself to get back in my lane. So instead I jerked the wheel. Next thing you know, we were flipping. <laughs> Don't so, remember that. And I'd rather not remember because it was super scary and I still think about it every day. When we landed, Savannah was like screaming. I kid you not, screaming. <laughs> of course, I thought she was majorly hurt. So I was like, Savannah, are you hurt? And we were upside down, by the way. The car was upside down. So I got to my seatbelt and was able to get it undone because it wasn't stuck on me, thankfully. And so when I unbuckled, I hit the <laughs> roof and I was like, ow! I hit my head, but it's okay. Nothing happened. Um, Maybe that's why she's blonde now. Yeah, I'm blonde when she when she said no i was like faith and she would not answer me and i was like faith and she still wouldn't answer me so i unbuckled like super quickly and i like jerked around and like she had blood streaming down her face oh, and i was gross. like i was like she's dead she's she's dead i started flipping out because of course i'm responsible for this so i felt super she bad she pretty much killed me almost whatever <laughs> Um, the guy I almost hit pulled over and then a lot of other cars that saw it happen pulled over See, to make sure we were part. okay. The man that I almost hit was try making sure we were all like alert and good and of course Faith couldn't talk because she had a concussion and her earring ripped out of her ear <laughs> and, it's, yeah, and she has stitches. Yeah. She had stitches. I don't even want Yeah. They had to cut, I think they had to cut Faith and Savannah out of their seatbelts, but I, I, I was able to get to mine, obviously. The driver window was still in and oh. the passenger. I don't know how that happened because that was the first place we hit was like that's tumbling. Weird. The airbags did all not come out, by the way. Out, though, that's weird. Yeah, all the other ones went out. I was able to crawl out the back window, so I like got to the back seat and crawled out the window. And so um, they had me lay on the ground and I was like, so I was laying down, you know, and then I was like, no. And they were like, ma'am, you need to lay down, stay seated or stay on the ground, please. And so I was like, okay, okay. Ah! What did I just touch? I ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. <laughs> I just got scared. I thought I that thing, I touched it and I thought it was like a bug. It's pretty much what you did when yeah. I said lay down. And they were like, ma'am, please lay down. And I was like, okay, okay. So I was like, are my friends okay? So they were like, we'll go check on them for you and come back and tell you. I kind of calmed down at that point. I was like, okay, I'm good. I asked someone, I was like, can I please borrow a phone? I need to call my mom like right now. So they pull out a phone out of the car and was like, is this sure is it? It was bent in half, like literally bent in half. And I was like, oh man. And they were like, what? And I said, I just got that thing last week. And they were like, your phone, it can wait. Like, it's okay. It's just a phone. You can replace it. And I was like, yeah, you're probably right. Okay, can I please get a phone to call my mom? No one would get me a phone. So at this point I was going absolutely insane. So about the fifth time asking, I screamed at them and I was like, yo, somebody get me a phone. And they got me a phone. I called my mom and I said, don't freak. Like I was completely calm at this point. I was like, don't freak out, but I just got in a wreck. And she was like, um, okay, where are you at, blah, blah, blah. And then I told her where I was at, so she was on her way. So when she got closer, like I completely stopped five o'clock traffic. Like it was- Like it was backed up, like 
the whole town of Jonesboro was backed up. Like I've known at least like 20 people that have been like, oh, you were in that? Like, yeah, right so afterwards. many people were. They're like, we were it. backed up for like 30 minutes. I even had friends tell me that they drove past it and said that the people in that had to have been dead. Yeah, that's what So that's how bad it was. Me. My mom called me when she got closer and was like, hey, where exactly are you? Let me talk to one of the medics so I can see how I can get around everyone. So I let her talk to one of them and then they gave me the phone back so my mom could make sure I was doing okay. And so I just started bawling and like not really screaming, sort of, I guess, I don't know. And so I was like, mom, I seriously thought I was going to die. And of course I was crying. And she was like, so then she got emotional and started crying. And I was like, mom, no, you don't understand. I had two people in the car. I wasn't supposed to. I'm sorry. Blah, blah, blah. Cause I was, I, that was illegal. <laughs> so I got a ticket for that, by the way. Two people I also age. got a ticket for reckless driving. When technically it wasn't like a free, like it wasn't, wasn't not paying attention. So it like, I don't know, it could have happened to like a lot of people if they look over your shoulders in your blind spots, kids. So we got to the hospital, blah, blah, blah. I could like, at one point it said Faith was active on Facebook. And so like I messaged her and she didn't message back for a while. So I was like, oh, she's mad at me, blah, blah, blah. But she ended up messaging me back. So we all good, we all Gucci. And I was like out of it. I was like, give me yeah. a phone. Y'all left the hospital, like, we went straight to the hospital, obviously, like, after we got checked on and everything. I think Faith and, then, and Savannah rode in an ambulance. Yeah, I did. And my mom was able to take me because I didn't want to yeah. go on one. Y'all left that night, but I didn't. Yeah, they had to, Faith had to stay, like, three two nights. nights. Two Two. Yeah, that's the story of the time I flipped my car seven times. By the way, it was seven. I didn't mention that. I just said flipped it. And some girl, I'm not going to say any names, she started a rumor that I was texting and driving and said like everyone was talking about it and saying I was texting and driving. So it was my fault. And I was like, yeah, it was my fault, but I was not texting and driving. Like, were you in the car with me? Because every time we get in the car, something face takes my phone and plays me her music. <laughs> so I think she had my phone. Explain. Uh, probably so. Mommy. Be backward. Yeah. Because yeah. if we were not, we would be dead. I was gripping like the steering wheel as tight as I possibly could. I don't know what I was gripping. <laughs> probably I was probably nothing. like, no, because my arm was like really sore. What the heck? It's a piece of hair. My hand was really sore and it was like banged up and I was like holding something. I was probably like, either holding the top thing or the... Well, and sure. while we were flipping, I literally didn't even scream. I was in so much shock that I didn't scream. And so I literally, I was her. praying. I was like, I'm going to die. So like, if it's my time, it's my time. Yeah. I'm going to die. I, knew, I thought, I was like pretty set on that I was going to die. But thankfully, God was with us and we didn't. Did they cut your clothes off? No. They cut mine off. They asked if they needed to, and I said, no, I can probably get it off. So. Oh, that's probably And I why. love that shirt, I so I was like, you are not cutting this thing off. I'll take it off. And it like, took me, like, a good four months to figure out what I was actually wearing that night. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the story of my wreck. A lot of you had been asking about it, so I just got into detail with you about it. So, yeah, hope you guys loved it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next Saturday. I want to do it. Bye. I love you.